Stardew Valley is a deceptively vast game. There are so many items, hats, recipes, and events that it can be pretty hard to keep track and obtain everything. So in no particular order, here is the 9 rarest items in Stardew Valley. If you haven't found at least 5 of these items on the list, be sure to comment chicken in the comments below. For those who have never been lucky enough to find one of these, an auto-petter is a machine that is used to automatically pet coop and barn animals every single day. But do auto-petters even exist when going the community center route? You can buy it easily in the Jojo route for 50,000 gold, but let's assume for the moment that you don't want the valley to become a corporate powerhouse just yet. So. If you take the community center route, it has a chance to spawn in a skull cavern treasure room. This is where luck comes into play, because the chances of running into a treasure floor past floor 10 is about 3% in the best luck rolls. And it can feel pretty impossible when there is less than a 4% chance of actually getting an auto-petter from the chest. But wait! There is another way. You can obtain the auto better as a drop from enemies in the dangerous versions of the mines after activating the Shrine of Challenge. But don't get too excited just yet. It still has a terribly low 1% chance of spawning in this way. With such low drop rates, the auto petter definitely deserves a spot on this list. Is the happiness of my chickens really worth all that effort? Of course it is! Now the next one will be an essential for anyone looking to complete the ultimate farmer outfit for immersion. The humble work boots. What is it about these boots that make them so special? Well, they're actually one of the rarest, if not the rarest item in the entire game. The work boots can be found exclusively from fishing treasure chests. And here's the kicker, they have the same drop rate as a prismatic shard, 0.0 to 12%. Yeah, that's literally 1 in a thousand. At least you can increase this chance by fishing in fishing zones where your fishing bobber is closer to walkable land. The only other way to obtain these elusive tan colored boots is by enabling the remixed mine rewards, where it will have a chance to spawn in a level 10 chest. Wand of Sparking actually got this legendary pair of boots by fishing a treasure chest after an insane amount of in-game years. If you guys haven't seen that video, I'll post the link in the description. And what do the work boots offer, you ask? To defense! The ossified blade is a pretty good weapon like any other, but with one exception. It can completely disappear from the game if you make the wrong move. This weapon is exclusive to the remix bundles added in the 1.5 and has a 20% chance of replacing the obsidian edge in the chest on floor 90 in the mines. If this doesn't happen and you pick up the obsidian blade, you can never get the ossified blade. That alone deserves a spot on this list since so many players have probably never even seen or heard of this before. Hats are the best. Put them on your trusty steed, your sea urchins, or best of all, your children. Some of them can be super hard to obtain if you aren't using the Stardew Valley predictor though. One of these are the infamous garbage hat. The garbage hat is a hat that surprise surprise can be found inside of the garbage cans around Pelican Town. It only has a 0.2% chance to be found after opening at least 20 garbage cans. Now, if you are checking every single garbage can every single day, then you might even get one in your first year. But that is a big maybe. Eggs in Stardew Valley are usually quite common. If you have chickens or ducks, you can of course collect them almost daily. Eggs are best used for cooking, selling, and mayonnaise. -ing. This can also be done with the incredibly rare dinosaur egg. If you find an artifact spot near Robin's house, hold that spot until the egg drops. Just know that this could take a while with the dinosaur eggs 0.6% drop rate. 
This probability does raise to almost a full 1% for fishing treasure chests, which probably makes it the best way to get this one without losing your mind. So yeah, these cute little lizard eggs are actually quite rare. Food is a pretty important part of Stardew Valley, since it can provide all kinds of useful buffs to suit your farmer's next challenge. There's a wide variety of recipes, but the best food by far is magic rock candy. It provides multiple buffs and you just know that such an overpowered food item is not easily obtained. You can head over to the Desert Trader on Thursdays and trade in 3 prismatic shards for one candy. But there is another cheaper way to get them. Farm some of these haunted skull enemies in the quarry mines on a good luck day and you might just get lucky. They have a 0.13% chance to drop this very powerful cooked food. The next item on this list is unlike any other. It can't be found by killing hordes of enemies or by breaking endless crates in the mines. It's an item you can only receive from the Feast of Winter Star. It's the infamous tea set. You can only receive one Winter Star gift per year and the tea set can only be gifted by some of the older NPCs. They have about a 1 in 30 chance of gifting it, which doesn't sound too bad. But as this only happens once a year, it can become impossible to be patient enough for another full year to pass before getting this beautiful, delicate decoration. Last but definitely not least is the ultimate rarest hat in the game. This title belongs to the living hat, which is nature's ultimate headwear. Shaped like a crown of leaves, it is a must-have for any nature-loving farmer. If you are obsessed with keeping your farm clear of weeds, it probably wouldn't help since this hat has a whopping 1 in 10,000 of dropping from cutting weeds. You could also pick the wilderness farm and set out to slay every wilderness golem in your path since they have at least 1 in 1000 chance of dropping the very rare item. If you ever find this hat, count yourself lucky, very lucky. And that's it, the most rare items you can find in Stardew Valley. If you enjoyed this video, drop a like and hit that subscribe button. Anyways, I will see you in the next video.